So my dad recently asked me to get him a used phone off eBay, and I ordered one and it was not great. The phone looked good, but it had a lot of image burn-in on the display. So I thought I would do a little test. I bought two S21 Ultra phones from eBay, where the seller who had a 99.9 .9 positive feedback claimed that they were refurbished and in excellent condition. And then I bought two Amazon Renew S21 Ultras where the listing had 4.1 out of 5 stars and the seller claimed they were renewed and in excellent condition. I will note that the Amazon phones were each like $19 more than the eBay phones. They all came with generic chargers and the eBay phones had screen protectors. So this is the first eBay phone I opened. It looked good at first glance but I'm a little suspicious when the seller puts on screen protectors so I promptly took it off and the screen underneath was far from in excellent condition. It looked like it had been dropped face first onto concrete and the screen didn't crack but every rock left its mark. The phone did work just fine and had no burnt in image or any other issues. The second eBay phone looked great. I took off the screen protector and the screen was almost scratch free. The back and the sides were also in very good condition with a few minor little scuffs. I went through all the tests, no image burn in, speakers and mics were great. And then I started testing the camera, and I noticed about 50% of the time it had trouble focusing. I put two phones side by side and sure enough, there was an issue with the camera. The issue is actually pretty common with the S21 Ultra and is usually fixed by giving the phone a little bump every time you want the camera to focus. But needless to say, I was not interested in keeping this phone and dealing with it. So I opened up my first Amazon Renewed phone and it looked great. The screen was pretty much scratch free and so were the back and the sides. I tested the phone's speakers, mic camera sensors everything and it's working perfectly so i went ahead and put my sim card in and it connects without any issues the second amazon phone was not as perfect as the first one it would still be what i would describe as an excellent condition but i did have to clean it a bit more and overall i'm happy with it too and all the tests on it came back just fine connected to the network everything seems to be working well since the eBay phones failed to stand up to my standards, I'm gonna go ahead and return them. I will keep the two Amazon phones and see how they hold up. I will just post an update down in the comments at 90 days and then half a year. I'm not gonna link the eBay seller just because my test size was only two phones and what if I just got unlucky. But I will link the Amazon listing because I'm pretty happy with the phones. Naturally this is not a guarantee all the phones they have are in such excellent condition. There are some negative reviews on that listing. It might be from people who bought phones that were not listed as excellent or they just got unlucky. I don't know, the sample size was rather small. So all I can do is tell you about my experience and let you make up your own mind.